All right, so as you've seen in the previous two videos, I've been doing a lot of FT8 uh, digital mode stuff with my new transceiver. And so a few days ago, um, I received an email from a uh, Whiskey 9 mic, Delta Bravo, and he had an image of the FT8 waterfall, which I'll post on the screen here so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. But he was saying that uh, he could see me uh, the, on the third harmonic pretty much of the waterfall, which means more than likely my uh, audio is being distorted, it was probably overdriven, uh, and I hadn't really thought about that because where most people would purchase a signal link, uh, I'm a little cheaper and I wired my audio directly from the transceiver into the computer. So what the signal link does is it would kind of allow you to have some physical control and help balance the audio that's coming out of the computer into the transceiver and vice versa. But uh, what I was doing was piping audio straight from the computer into the transceiver uh, without any type of uh, volt voltage resistance. So I was actually feeding more um, voltage into the transceiver on the microphone input of the transceiver than what it was rated for. So I'm glad that he brought this to my attention. Um, because it's kind of caused issues and obviously I don't want to uh, spam up the FT8 waterfall. So he provided me with a document uh, to kind of look over and see like some suggestions how to fix it and it come to my attention that I had not properly tuned my FT8 or any digital mode for that matter. Even though I was making contacts on those modes, um, my audio was distorted and it wasn't very efficient whatsoever. So I started looking at the science behind um, the automatic level control of the transceiver, the audio out, and how many adjustments there actually were between that audio being created to it being transmitted over the antenna. And there's a lot of variables here that I feel like if myself as a beginner wouldn't uh, really take into consideration, there's probably some others too. So I wanted to talk a little bit about automatic uh, level control, gain control, and um, audio output on the computer when working digital modes. So, on every transceiver, our newer transceiver, uh, more than likely there's a system called automatic level control. And if you're not familiar with that, is once audio gets past or higher than a certain point on your transceiver, the transceiver will automatically start kind of toning that audio back in order to um, put it within, I guess, regulation of its drive power because if you don't know, um, with digital modes, most of the time they work off a single sideband, which is a, like a form of AM. And AM, uh, the louder something is, the more power it puts out. It kind of goes hand in hand. So what that ALC does is it will balance out that power and uh, it will kind of damper the, uh, the loudness of it if it becomes too, too loud for the transceiver to transmit, if it becomes too powerful, so, in layman's terms. So what this causes a problem with on digital modes is that doesn't cause the problem exactly, that's actually trying to help alleviate it, but it shows a symptom of what's actually going on, which the actual problem is you're feeding too much audio into the transceiver for its current power. And that means more than likely it's distorted. So there's a few things that you can do to tune your transceiver for these digital modes and uh, kind of hear and make it more efficient. So let's go ahead and get into that. And I'm going to show you guys a system that I made for tuning my transceiver audio level out on the computer and the, mic the digital uh, gain on the transceiver in order to have the sweet spot that most people call it. So beginning with the radio side, uh, the first thing that I did after doing some research, and this may not be with all radios, but it definitely worked with my FT450D, is to kind of help out with that ALC and uh, not get it to kick in as much, is if you go into your menu and you go into your digital Vox gain, what your Vox gain, uh, so basically what this it does is it amplifies the input that's put into your uh, digital out. Now you may not be using Vox, but I am. So what this does is it amplifies the audio in the radio. And what I found that if this is set to the highest amount, 
I get the lowest amount of ALC that takes place. So it goes from 1 to 100, and so on the radio side, I've set this at 100. Now, the next thing that kind of goes into play here is your actual RF output power. And not, not all transceivers are rated for its maximum um, output power for digital modes, because there's different things to take into account here. Um, there's transmit time and wait time. So what I found to work for me the best is uh, with my 100 watt transceiver, I have my RF power out set to 70. 70 is um, safe, uh, but I use the level controls on my computer to output an actual 60 watt carrier over the radio. So I, do, I have it set to 70 as the maximum, but I'm only using 60. And this is just what I found works for me. And I'll show you guys my process of how I found that as well. So on the computer side of things, there's a few uh, different audio settings to take into account here. The first thing I want you to do is, I'm going to move my webcam here so you guys can see, is right click your sound settings uh, down here and go to sounds. And this shows your audio um, drivers or your input, audio in output devices. So right now I am using a uh, USB one. So I want you to find the ones that you're using uh, for playback and recording. And you're going to right click both of those and go to property. And you're going to go to levels or advanced on your microphone. And make sure it's set to the one channel 16 bit 4800 hertz. This is something I didn't know that the uh, the kind gentleman emailed there to me as a tip in his document. So once that's done for your audio input, the more important thing for ALC and distorted audio out is your speakers. So right click your audio output and this time uh, you'll go to enhancements. Make sure that disable all enhancements is enabled. Make sure that your out is at 16 bit 4800 hertz. Um, and the next thing we want to pay attention to is your speakers. Now you'll notice that mine is set in dB here. And it's a little bit more accurate for me, but you can right click this and change it between the percentage and decibels. Now, there's different ways that you can go about <coughs> uh, setting this correctly. Uh, but what I found was choose a random lower number to start out with. So maybe 5, 10, 15, 20 uh, for your percentage on your audio out. My sweet spot that I found was 10. Okay. So tr this is trial and error. You're going to set this to like a lower number, generally between 5 to 15. Okay, uh, 10 is my number, so that's a good number to start with. Right? And then you're going to go into your digital uh, software that you're using, and there should be some type of tuning feature or some way to put out a carrier wave. And what you're going to do with that is uh, you're going to hit the button to send out this the audio into the transceiver. And the next thing you want to do is go into your transceiver and pay attention to your ALC levels. Now, most transceivers should have some way to show you the automatic level control that's being uh, currently incorporated in your transmission. Uh, with my FT450, uh, I'm going to show you that with a separate camera here as we're doing this. But just have your uh, software, your actual digital decoding encoding software, if it has a volume or some type of... Um, uh, power output, set it to like a good medium or the default, and then start transmitting a carrier wave. So the next thing you want to do once you started transmitting your carrier wave is you want to pay attention to your ALC and you're going to uh, slowly adjust your speakers up and down till you see absolutely no automatic level control taking place on the transceiver. You're getting ready to see exactly what that looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the tune button. My transceiver is currently transmitting. And I'm going to go to... Oh, I'm in my menu. Halt transmission. We have to get out of the menu before we can actually do that. There we go. We'll hit our tuning button. And I'm going to hit my uh, meter button. And I see my power coming out, and I see my automatic level control is currently through the roof. 
Okay, so there's two ways to adjust this. We can either use our speaker out, or we can use our um, our level control in software. So um, let me give my transceiver a break here, and we'll talk about what's going on here. So in the software, this is your uh, pre-attenuated uh, input. This is what the creation of the audio in it, like its original form. This is the uh, the loudness of it. Okay. So it gets fed into your uh, your audio driver here, right? Now with this uh, whiskey, the Whiskey uh, Sierra Juliet Tango X-Ray software, I found that my actual working audio and my tuning audio is a little different, but it's a good reference. So I'm going to go ahead and start tuning it, right? And I'm going to uh, adjust my speakers. I'm, I'm going to try not to go below five. If I start going below five, I know I need to probably um, change my input on on my software itself okay so I'm gonna start by adjusting this if it's getting way this way too low I'm gonna work over here so I'm gonna go ahead and start tuning and then you see my ALC is through the roof so I'm gonna click over here start bringing it down slowly so seven has completely eliminated it so I'm gonna bring it up to eight eight we're kinda seeing some uh, level control going on there so I'm going to bring it back to 7 and it is absent completely so if you notice that that's exactly what we are looking for that complete uh, no ALC so the next thing that we want to look at to see if we have a stable signal is our transmit power because we want it to to be generally the same uh, if you're using FT8 it could vary in other programs but we're going to go ahead and go to tune and we're going to change the meter to our output meter. And as you can see, we're at a steady 55 to 60 watts on the radio. And that's my sweet spot. So I know that I am, I have a, and my ALC meter is down. So we're going to stop tuning. And if you want to fine tune things, this is a little bit more broader. Uh, if you want to start getting the fine tuning, this is where this right here really comes into play. So you can adjust your meter. So once you found your sweet spot, which is a transmission audio that is outputted from your computer to your radio, where there is no ALC taking place, and you are getting the maximum amount of power that you can without uh, making that ALC kick in, then you have achieved what is called the sweet spot, which means you are having the most efficient transmission with no distorted audio. Uh, and that's really ideally what you're aiming for. So figured since I struggled with this beginning, somebody else might too. I'm not even sure how to title this to get people to that are searching for this to check it out. But um, if you're struggling with this, uh, this is just a really general idea on how I got it fixed and how you might either. But it really depends on the different types of radios. And there's different settings for different radios that you can go into and work with. Now, I am by no means a veteran, so uh, if you guys more experienced have like a better way of doing this, be sure to leave a comment below uh, with links to software you might use or different ways you might do it. And as always, make sure you subscribe um, and uh, comment below.